Hi there, everyone. I'm Lilis, and I'm back to chat all things cozy and mindful gaming. Today, I want to show you two games that have quickly become my go-to picks for relaxing, unwinding, and quieting my mind. They've been in my cozy gaming rotation for some time now, so it's time I tell you why. There's just something about the quiet, unpressured focus of these games with soft music and sensory-friendly sounds and gameplay that is somehow both unobtrusive and captivating. These are the kind of games that you can play casually while listening to music or a podcast or even chatting with a friend. Just something to do with your hands or calm the racing parts of your mind. Or you can really center yourself through them, playing with the volume up, considering your every move, listening to the soft details of sound, and taking in the beautiful, cozy, and colorful art. These two games are vibe setters, a way to shut out whatever noise or stress might be lingering in your mind or surroundings, and transport yourself to a more serene, forgiving, and pleasant space. Perfect for practicing mindfulness or just slowing down. Dorf Romantic is a building strategy and puzzle game where you build sprawling landscapes one tile at a time. You unlock new biomes and types of tiles as you play, everything from winter forests to towns decorated with jack-o'-lanterns to rivers with little boats and beaver dams and swans to my personal favorite, forest clearings with foxes or bears. It has a perfectly serene and inviting soundtrack. I often listen to it while reading or meditating. The overall objective of Dorf Romantic is simple. Build a village landscape one tile at a time by placing them where they fit the best. Each tile has six sides and you wanna line up forest with forest, river with river, grass with grass, field with field, you get the idea. If you place a tile and all six sides line up with their respective category, it's deemed perfect, and you get extra points, which leads to more tiles in your stack for you to play with. You also earn tiles by completing quests, placing a certain number of a tile type in a row, for example. The more quests you complete and the more cautiously and correctly you place the tiles, the higher your score and the longer the game lasts. When you run out of tiles, the game ends and you can start all over again. You can play Dorf Romantic however you need, and the way that I play each time I settle in depends entirely on my mood. If you just want some peaceful and visually stunning vibes without focusing too much on puzzling and high scores, the game is completely low stress and satisfying, with soft, realistic nature noises in the background, like the sounds of gulls, and a rewarding chime each time you place a tile. It doesn't punish you for not doing well, it just offers a space for you to play as you need. There's even a creative mode, if you wanna just build something beautiful without a tile limit or a score. But there are definitely moments when I want a game that begs me to focus on it, and Dorf Romantic does this really well. I can easily transport myself here, enjoying its gentle and immersive environment, while really considering where to place each tile, trying hard to complete quests, and doing my best to earn a high score, unlock new tiles, and keep my landscape growing ever larger. Dorf Romantic had its full release on PC just a couple of months ago, and the dev team, Tucana Interactive, have indicated that they will be porting the game to the Nintendo Switch. No news on exactly when that will be, but I know it'll be worth the wait. But no worries, Switch players. My next pick is for you. Like Dorf Romantic, Townscaper offers a bright, relaxing, and serene environment for you to unwind in. But this game takes away the score and the puzzles. It's simply a game for building a pleasant townscape. You point and click where to build on a visually gorgeous pool of water, building horizontally and vertically, each structure growing and changing as you click on it. One of my favorite parts of the game are the sounds. There's a delightful plop each time you place something, 
and the water splashes realistically, as if you really did just place something there in the pool. There's no real music, but you can hear the soft sounds of waves in the distance and other nature sounds. What I love most about this game is that it encourages you to create without any kind of assessment or judgment or objective. It's soothing in the way that taking hold of a watercolor brush and just painting without fear or purpose or care is soothing. And no matter what you create, it'll be beautiful because the game itself is just stunning. My favorite way to play is to take my time, plopping something down and zooming in to look at it. There are plenty of small details for us to take in if we stop to look. Panning the camera around to see how the new piece has changed the entire effect and then continuing on on, changing the colors and letting the soft sounds of the waves calm me and envelop me. The game is almost meditative, best played with headphones and the volume up, in my opinion, imagining what it would feel like to walk the seaside paths or look out from a small window atop a high tower. I've been playing when my mind is moving too fast for its own good, using it to slow my heart and be present, or just to remind myself that creating without a goal or any kind of evaluation is always worthwhile. Townscaper is currently $5.99 on Nintendo Switch and Steam, and it is so, so worth it. And with all this talk of serene builders, I have to mention Cloud Gardens. High on my list of games to pick up and review is Cloud Gardens. I mean, just look at it. So many of you have mentioned this game to me in the comments of my videos. Thank you so much for that. So I'll be cozying up to this game soon. Cloud Gardens seems to fit the style of relaxing and serene gameplay perfectly. With a more rustic, almost post-apocalyptic style, you actually heal run-down and decaying spaces by reclaiming them with nature. It sounds exactly like my kind of game and it looks so, so peaceful. I can't wait to play it and let you all know what I think. So are you going to check out Dorf Romantic or Townscaper or maybe are you already playing them? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other recommendations for games that I should check out, let me know. I always love hearing from you. Comments, likes, and subs help so much with growing this channel and I appreciate it so, so much. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and see you really soon.